Hey everyone, this is Tony Shisha's Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to transfer your domain name registration. Now, specifically, I'm gonna be transferring my domain name from DreamHost to Google Domains. And while that's the case, while I'm specifically using DreamHost and Google Domains, the concepts in this video will apply to pretty much any domain name transfer, but it might be a little bit different about like where you click and what you click on depending on what services you're using. So with that being said, in any case, if you want to learn how to do this, let's get on into the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing for me, I'm gonna log into my Google Domains account and go to the dashboard. And in here, you'll see on the left-hand side, they have a transfer section. So click on that, and I'm gonna enter the domain name that I'm gonna transfer. For me, it's florida.com. Now, uh, go ahead and click on enter or hit enter. And on the next page here, you'll see that Google Domains actually detected that my current registration for this domain name is with DreamHost. And that step number one is to unlock the domain name. So I'm gonna go over to DreamHost and log into my account here in order to unlock that. So just sign in. And on the left-hand side, I'm gonna click on domains and registrations. And when that shows up, we'll go down to our list of domain names and you'll see here under the lock column, it does say yes. So we wanna change that, we wanna unlock it. And this is just saying that, are you sure you wanna unlock it? Yes, I do, so hit okay. And we're gonna wait for the page to refresh. And when it does, we should see a successful message here. Yes, florida.com has been unlocked. So now we're gonna go back over to Google Domains, refresh the page, and you'll see now that florida.com is unlocked and ready to transfer. Now we just need that authorization code. So back over in DreamHost, I'm gonna click on registration transfers this time and scroll down until I see transfer away from DreamHost. And on the next page, you'll be able to reveal your authorization code, which here is my authorization code. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that and paste it over on the Google Domains page and click on continue. This next section here is just asking if you want your DNS records to be transferred as well. I think that's a good idea for most cases unless you're also moving the hosting. So I'm gonna leave that checked and then finally hit continue. The last step on this page is to make payment for your domain name registration. And while the domain name transfer itself is free, you will have to pay for the actual registration itself for one year. There's a couple options here, privacy protection and auto renew. I'm gonna leave those on and then click on proceed to check out down here. This will take us to the payment page where we can go ahead and make the purchase. And finally, to this page where we can check the status of the transfer, which basically at this point, Google Domains has asked DreamHost to release ownership of Florida.com. So guys, we're not done just yet. There's one more step, we're almost there. Let's go back to DreamHost to that registration transfer page. Down at the bottom, we can finally approve the registration transfer of Florida.com. There's one last, are you sure message? Go ahead and click on okay. And the resulting page says that the domain name has been approved for transfer away from DreamHost. Now at this point, go back to Google Domains and in your list of domain names there, you'll see that in this case, florida.com is now part of the list. The registration transfer was successful. Now, if you click on that, you'll see that we have full ownership and this domain name registration is good until July 11th, 2021. Guys, if you have any questions about domain name transfers or anything that you saw in the video today, let me know in the comments below. I've been through this process countless times, so I'll be more than happy to help you out. If you got some value out of this video, give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more in regards to domain name transfers or hosting websites, or just in general, starting your business online, definitely consider subscribing to this channel. And if you do, I'll see you in the next video.